trying to delete some personal messages? No. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> Don't flatter myself. Uh, Don't flatter myself. Is there a forest around here? Um, yeah, I'm sure. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Can I have the phone now? Oh, um, <sighs> Rex, I totally forgot. Okay, I, <sighs> the school administration called me on this line. Then it's changed to sin. Yeah, I also have important stuff on the phone. Oh, right. Damn, I forgot. I had so many things on my mind, I forgot to bring a lot of stuff. I even forgot my laptop. Damn. Damn. But maybe not to worry. There's a forex bureau not too far away from here. You know? I believe we can also get a phone around that same area. In a SIM card. Right. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Mom! Yeah, what's up? I forgot to remind. I seriously need the internet fixed. I cannot be going to the cafe all the time. What happened to the tablet I got you? It's limited. My bandwidth consumption increased. My bandwidth? Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Never mind, I'm going to go out in a bit, okay? I'll see if I can have it sorted. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Buzz up. Now, don't forget to lock the doors and the gates if you're going out. Okay. Here. What's this message about? You shouldn't be asking me that. He screwed you last night, didn't he? Yes. And he was really, really good. Now, Alvin, listen. I don't want to be the reason for your dismissal from the school. If you care about your degree, get rid of those pictures. And never come close to me again. Do I look scared, Miss Celine? I was willing to give up my degree for you. But what's the point? Now you listen to me. It's either you have me or no one else. You get that clear? Hmm. You must be crazy. Try me. And you see the monster in me.
Hello, Laura. Are you home? Okay, I'll be leaving my car at Trish's place. I would want you to pick it up and drop it out of the house, okay? All right, bye. You now drive your sister's car? No, she asked me to take it to the bank. To sell it? <laughs> Wash it. And I would like to have a ride with you. No, I don't want your sister's trouble. Please, I beg. Well, in that case, I'm sitting right beside you. And when she comes, we'll see whose house should find her car. <laughs> Why do you like blackmailing me like that? Baby, I'm not blackmailing you. See, I want to spend some time with you, okay? And opportunities like this hardly come by. Hmm. Baby. Alright, let me put this down. <laughs> okay. So then, you drive. Trish, I'm serious. I still can't hear you. Trish, I'm serious. Did he tell you anything? Anything no. at all? No. Well, you know the feeling those who don't get along. Oh. Jay wouldn't talk about it anyway. <laughs> Trish, so tell me, how was it? Was it what? good? Was it bad? Was it. You know exactly what I'm talking about, girl. Tell me, how is it? Hmm, je ne te dirai rien, ma chérie. Quoi? I don't know if you. We're talking like an old machine. We are French, you're me. I don't kiss him, tell. Is that what it means? Yeah, but besides, nothing happened. I drove home, he drove home. Nothing ventured. Wow, nothing gained. Nothing. You know, sometimes I wish I could resist sex like you, you know? You have to fight it. That's what I do. If not, every good looking man who comes away will penetrate. But I'm not holier than that though. Oh my god, Trish, I have to go. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Oh, why? I hear this husband's people. They've been calling me. She's the one calling me. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. Hello, Ayelin. Yeah. 
I'm gonna say this is an hour of school. Okay, you know what? Take this 5,000 Ghana series and then try and master like five songs from him, you know? I mean, this guy wouldn't take this money from me and there's someone who helped me earlier in the day. Lupi, so how is it going to be like? I haven't even seen this artist and what he can do. You know I don't do stuff like that. I know, man, but you're my guy. Come on, man. Listen, I know you don't do stuff like this, but try and do it for me. I mean, this guy is really good. I believe in him. Still, how is it going to be like? Okay, you know what? Now that I've booked him, try and put him on a schedule and call him, you know? I think he'll come. All right. Cheers to that, man. Alvin is quiet lately. Why? What's up? I don't know. Sorry, I was just trying to show concern. Can't you mind your own business? Exactly, your impending examination. Okay, so now we can talk about each other. Now when the each and the other are not ready to talk. Fine. Meg, you're quiet today. Is everything okay? Can't we get a minute of silence to study? Indeed, Meg. Coco's right. What's going on, Meg? Meg, hmm? what's going on? No, um, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You sure?
You know, Benjamin Franklin once said, there are two ways of being happy. You must either diminish your wants or augment our needs. Either ways, you must choose to be happy. So, choose to be happy, bro. Can you guys believe my mom is gonna be home for a whole month? What? Oh, poor you, darling. <laughs> no wonder you look shitty. <laughs> yeah. I look shitty? Oh yeah, you do. Don't mind her. You know what? She's just trying to distract all of us. Don't mind it. Well, it's, oh, it's okay. Well, it's working because I'm distracted. Language has created the word loneliness to express the pain of being alone and has created the word solitude to express the glory of being alone. You remind me pretty much of Paul Silage. You are not alone, my friend. You know what? I think you're right. I choose to be happy by diminishing my wants. Perfect. Alvin, if influence were human, it would be Hitler, Mahatma Gandhi, or Idi Amin. She pulled down my pants to see if I was still a virgin. What? what? That's insane. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? But that, that's not funny. Oh, honey, it's funny. Sweetheart, seriously, it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's going to be one hell of a month for you. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. Are you a virgin? Are you a virgin? Of course I am. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, now then. What do you do? Whatever. Well, I think they pray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but like, they pray. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Virgin. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh. Maybe in your ears, your version. Yeah. Into, <laughs> <laughs> please hurry up. Okay, Nana is going to kill me. Relax. This is not the time to be fretting. Me, I work it. Yeah. Well, it's taking too long, okay? She talk about this the whole week, unless something else comes up. You should have thought about that before you decided for us to go for a ride. Oh, so you're blaming me now? So whose fault is it? Mine? And is it mine? Alright, no one's fault. Don't worry about it. Me, I work it, yeah? Start it. Laura, where the hell are you? And where's my car? I'm on my way. I went to the bay. I didn't even ask you to wash my car, Laura. I, I have a very important meeting and I, I've been stuck in this house for two hours. What is wrong with you? See, I'm on my way, okay. 
I'll be home soon. You know what? Get here now, okay? I, don't even touch my car again. What is wrong with this girl? Student? Were you sleeping with your students? Rex. Rex. There's nothing to talk about. Rex, baby. There's nothing Rex. To talk. Rex, wait. Rex. 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 Rex, please. Rex. Well, how do you explain this? A text message that says that if you're leaving, the photos are going viral? Baby, it happened just once. But you're being blackmailed. I Celine, I came all the way from the United <sighs> States to be with you. Meanwhile, you're sleeping with your students? Baby, please calm down, okay? I'm sorry. You know what? I suspected you from the very first day you said you used this phone for student affairs. Indeed you do. Baby, listen, I, I don't even know how this happened, okay? It's one stupid mistake that I regret so much. I, um, I invited you out for lunch because I decided to propose to you. I guess this wouldn't be necessary anymore. Rex, Rex, baby, 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 baby. baby. Baby, I'll find my way. Baby, Rex. 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 Please. Rex. Please. Baby. Please. We can work this out. Please. That's exactly what I'm doing. Rex, listen. Baby, listen to me. I know it shouldn't have happened. But those kids were trying to blackmail me. By sleeping with you? Would you look like an idiot? I'm going back to the States where I made 50 grand a month. Rex. I'm done with Rex, you. Rex, Rex, okay, wait, wait, Rex, 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 wait! Rex. Baby, look at me. Please don't leave me. Please. Love you. Work things out with your college boys. Please. Times would I tell you? Hey, in this Ghana, you have just managed to change my name from Awele to Ayele. Okay, Awele. You worry too much, you know that. If you've made the arrangement for supper, just tell me and I'll take it back. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. But I enjoy eating your food anyway. Really? Yes, especially. Your pounded yam and bitter leaf soup. Ah! I like it very well. Are you serious? Yes. So you just wait until I make it especially for you by myself. You are not the one who prepares this one? No. I have caterers who work for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> then yours must be very special then. 
You have to taste it to confess that. Okay. I would taste to confess then. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, do. I was wondering, you speak really good English. Is carpentry your dream? Um, no. Carpentry is not really my dream. You see, it's my, it's my passion. My life. So did you go to school for it? Because your mannerism, your approach, your language, it's completely different. Well, I completed the polytechnic. Really? Yeah. And I've since been doing this for 18 years now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Eat for a wonderful you. lunch. You're welcome. Don't bother. They've already seen that. 